Welcome to lesson four. With no further ado, let's play. Here is A major. Having learnt A minor, A major is the next logical step. And all you have to do is blacken the threes onto F sharp and C, here, and here, and remember G sharp. The G sharp provides the one little bit of asymmetry in this scale. Numbers are the same in each hand, but it's a black two and a white two, left and right, black threes, black threes, black right hand, white left hand. Over two octaves, the script is, as for all group one scales, three, four, three. Three, four. Well done, and now for G minor in contrary motion. Having learnt A major and A minor and G major in contrary motion, G minor is fairly straightforward. If you start with G major, but blacken the threes onto E flat and B flat, keeping the F sharpened. And it is the second finger early on that gives the slight asymmetry that makes this scale slightly harder than E major or C major. Pincers on C and D, black three, and the right hand four is black. Black threes, black threes. Left hand black note in the second finger, black threes. Pincers C and D, black threes, right hand black four. And the two octave version using three, four, three. 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 Congratulations! In the next lesson, we will complete the Group 1 Contrary Motion Scales. See you soon!